Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of Megabox Monday, I'm going to have a look at the PLA++ from Breathe 3D. So let's have a look after the intro. So this is a PLA++ filament. Um, they say here it's a modified PLA with higher toughness than a standard PLA, so you can print functional parts without any printer modifications. Um, they say here that you should print at 190 to 220 degrees and a normal room temperature to 70 degrees on the bed with a 30 to 120 millimeters per second. So those are just normal PLA settings that you're used to. Um, I printed it printed my samples out at 210 degrees. I found out in the stringing test I had a little bit of stringing to deal with, so I disabled C-Hop on the printer profile and that gave me good results. So let's have a look at the prints. So here's the stringing test. Um, as you can see, there's quite a number of stringing issues. Um, after this print, I decided to disable C-Hop on the profile but uh, layer adhesion with this filament at 210 was like medium. It's uh, not very strong layer adhesion, but and maybe you have to print it a little bit higher, but it was coming out rather good. The next print I did was this bridging test, and here the bridging test was coming out very good. Uh, only a few strands on the longest band were having a few strands drooping, but this was turning out really good, and I was quite happy with this print, and it looks pretty good. So that's what coming out great. And then printed out two overhang tests. I print them in a way that one is facing the fan for the part cooling and one is facing away from the fan. And both of those prints were coming out excellent. There was no issues. Uh, maybe a tiny issue here on this this part. The overhang for this filament were coming out great. And as you can see, it was very clean at the bottom. So it was performing really good. Um, there was no drooping to speak of on the ends here, so they were coming out really good. So this was doing a pretty good job, and it's quite difficult to break. It was uh, quite more difficult to break it than a normal PLA print. It was not not giving in, <laughs> so it was quite difficult to break. Then I had a break test. This one is printed on bed like this. And this one is printed on the bed like this, so this can give me an idea of layer adhesion. Um, when I break it, I would say it's like a medium difficulty to break it. It was maybe a little bit more difficult than a normal PLA, I'd say. And um, for this one that was laying on the bed, it was quite difficult to break. And um, I noticed it started to bend to a degree uh, before it broke, and you can see how it turned white as it was stretching when I was bringing it. So it has some different properties than normal PLA for sure. It can bend a little bit more and is more tough than PLA I would say. I then printed out this test piece and here the bridging came out excellent. And the dome also underneath is very good. And the overhang tests here were excellent. And the tower was coming out great. and was giving me excellent quality in this test print so I was really happy with, with those tests and finally I had my maker coin um, this is a very good print there was no issues with this print and it was coming out great and the letters were very clear and this, I was quite happy with this filament it was giving me good results so overall this PLA++ from Breathe 3D was giving me very good results. I had no issues printing with this filament after I had disabled C-Hop. Before when I had C-Hop enabled I was having some stringing issues. But after disabling C-Hop it was working quite well. And the, the parts were pretty strong. They were bending a little bit more than a normal PLA and giving very tough feel to it and it was quite difficult to break break the filament. So I would give this filament a go if you have the option to buy this filament. It was giving me good results. The print quality on the Maker Coin was excellent and I had no issues on the print quality side of things. This was my quick look at the Breathe 3D PLA++ for the Megabox samples. So I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.